Hey guys, K1 from K1 Production. Today I'm back with another exciting tutorial. It's been a long time, I haven't done any tutorials. So today is a day where you guys requested a lot about my latest video that I posted, the behind the scenes of the photo shoot. A lot of you guys asked how I edited the pictures. So if you already seen it, you already know how I shoot the pictures, uh, what kind of lens that I used and what kind of setting. And by the way, the video is two parts. So the first part, I, I take a bunch of photos. The second part, also I take a lot of photos with Golden Hour. So all the pictures that I edited in that particular video were applied with one particular uh, preset that I used most of the time. Um, it's more like my style, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna reveal the setting. Also, that means you don't have to buy the preset back. But in case, if you want to support my channel, you can go ahead. The link will be in the description. Also, there's 20% off in the whole pack. I'm going to be editing a couple pictures of the whole photo shoot and I'm going to showcase it how I play with the preset. Also, how I enhance it with Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get to the video. All right, guys. So right now we are in Lightroom. But before we do anything, I want to say I'm sorry for my audio quality because my main audio recorder is broken right now. So I am pretty much going with any audio recorder I have. But anyway, so uh, as you can see, we have uh, around seven to eight photos here, actually seven, and I'm gonna be editing all of them. And as I mentioned, particularly I use one preset for that. So pretty much basic setting here are not really a big of a deal because you have to play around and it depends on what photo you are playing with. So it don't really rely on the numbers and slide, but what it what it makes a magical uh, you know look it's the tongue curving and also the HSL uh, section. So as you can see, I did this shape. It's very popular. What it does, it basically it uh, kind of gives us a really nice um, fade or we can say matte look to the highlight here uh, by bringing down on the top right corner and pretty much doing the same thing. Uh, the opposite thing for the shadow and if we just pretty much that's it I mean tone curves is this is just before and after of the tone curve and this is not only the RGB channel we have red uh, which is pretty much the same shape also green and you have to be very careful and very accurate when it's come to uh, making a similar shape so try to simulate and also try to create something very similar like this and we have also blue well, blue is not a bit similar but you know um, just screenshot it and do something like this I'm pretty sure you're gonna get similar result and we have HSL all you have to do now is take another screenshot and just slide it to the same numbers and adjustment and obviously again I have to mention these are not very like guarantee 100% you're gonna get the look, uh, it all depends on what kind of look, what kind of color you want. Um, so yeah, basically I didn't do anything with split toning. I did a little bit of sharpening and pretty much that's it. We have calibration, camera calibration, and also uh, see these are the adjustment that I did to kind of match the colors uh, together. So yeah, this is how I created this preset. And now let's just review uh, the, the picture that I edited. Uh, click on reset. Uh, pretty much what I did, I used this preset um, K4 on my K1 preset pack, the second version. And once you apply that on your vertical image, you have to make a little bit of adjustment by rotating some of your gradient filters. You can always change it. And I might also remove this gradient filter. And this gradient filter is made for the bottom. It gives you this um, black vignette. It makes the subject pop out a little bit more. So yeah, pretty much like that. And what I like to do, I would like to add more of the warm temperature to my photos after I apply the, the preset. I maybe add a little bit of the shadows too. I think I'm pretty happy with it. So far, I really like the result. All right, guys, so pretty much that's it. As you can see, this is the before after before after uh, the tones are really nice it gives us a very warming uh, look so let's go jump into the next photo pretty much what I did is um, I clicked on previous to be honest 
Uh, now, if you don't know what previous does, if you click on it, it will pretty much copy the same adjustment on the previous picture we did, which was this one. And boom, we got it. I mean, same look. All we need to do is just make more adjustment. And yeah, maybe I'll bring down some of the brightness here or add it a little bit. And we are done. That's it. That was easy. All right, guys, so now let's jump to the next photo. Now for this photo is a bit different because I know I use the same preset, but when you actually apply that preset, let's go ahead and apply it. Click on K4, um, pretty much do the same thing. Remove this gradient filter. What I did uh, instead of brightening up this gradient filter, I actually darken it more. So pretty much something like that. And these are, this is the bottom. And also here, I reduced the brightness a little bit further. So yeah, pretty much that's it. I mean, it's, it's honestly for me, the editing process became much easier after I use this pack of preset. And if you zoom in, as you can see the details, just before, after, before, after. And the reason I darken the bottom and the top image because I wanna uh, focus more on the subject, which we have uh, as the model. All right, so now let's jump to the next photo we have. All we have to do is just click on reset. Now let's jump. This time I'm gonna use K2, K3. I think I'm gonna go with K4 again and just add a little bit of warm tone here and add a little bit of, you know, highlight, more shadow. And yeah, pretty much like that. I'm gonna add more yes darkness like dark vignette to the bottom of the image even though this might not be the same look pretty much oh my god i love this one actually i mean pretty much that's it before after before after all right now we have this picture here um i'm gonna click on reset again i think if we click on previous and if you just yes i love it oh my god so what, what previous does is, as I mentioned, it copy the adjustment of the previous image. All we have to do is make this a bit upper and add some shadow to the image. Done. Pretty much previous. I think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go with previous on this one. Click reset. Go to the preset again. K4 add a little bit of temperature warm temperature add a little bit of exposure not too much some shadows bring down the highlight more warm tone pretty much like that click previous what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to enhance this photo because I really love it and uh, I'm gonna go ahead export it export automatically after exporting i'm gonna go to uh, adobe photoshop cc and then i'm gonna enhance it more or maybe we can remove some of the distracting stuff in the background and also i might retouch her face a bit plus maybe i will sharp it a little bit also maybe add an overlay light overlay all right so pretty much that's it uh now i'm gonna Go ahead and duplicate my background so what i usually do to retouch uh, the skin i duplicate my original copy twice i'm gonna rename this as a texture and also i'm gonna rename this the layer down below as low okay so what we're gonna do with low layer i'm gonna hide the texture layer so we can see what we are doing i'm gonna go to filter noise we have dust and scratch on dust and scratch make sure to add radios around somewhere between you don't lose detail you don't lose much detail so i think i'm gonna go with 17 um, or 16 i think it's pretty nice so we don't want to blur out the whole thing otherwise frequency separation will be very odd and very weird so click ok and remember the radius number now let's go ahead and unhide the texture layer then we're gonna go to image, we have apply image, and we're gonna merge this uh, texture layer with low layer. So we have layer, we're gonna change the blending multiply to add, then the scale is two. Click okay, pretty much 
After this, we're gonna change the normal blend to linear light here. Where is it? Linear light. All right, so pretty much we're done. Now we're gonna click on the low and then we're gonna start uh, the frequency separation workflow. So make sure you have the feather around. I would go with 20 so you get smoother edge by doing this. So we're gonna blur it out right now. And what frequency separation does, uh, we're gonna blur it out with Gaussian blur. And remember the same number that we added on dust and noise, uh, dust and scratch. So click on that, click OK. And what frequency separation does is will clean up the face without losing the texture. It will maintain the texture, but it will also clean up the face. So it's really interesting to see that. So to apply the blur, you have, all you have to do is just hold uh, command, and then we have option and then F, that's it. You just have to keep doing this until you're done with all the patch on her face. As you can see, we can already see a very subtle result, but it's really nice. It's more clean. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold command uh, option shift and then press on E to create a layer that contain all the layer below. Now I'm going to work on the background. I'm going to clean up a bit. So I'm going to use um, spot healing brush. All right, so pretty much we're, we're done with cleaning the background. Um, right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a light overlay from my newest light pack, the second version of the light pack. And I think we have so many interesting lights, so, but I think I'm gonna go with number 96. See, I think actually 94 is nice. This is also very nice. So as you can see, we have around 100 lights. Um, you can use it to really enhance your photos and um, make them very more dramatic, we can say. It's just really cool to add these overlays. It makes it very interesting to watch. So I think I'm gonna go with 95 um, on this one. And then all I have to do is just grab it and drag it into my main image. And then all you need to do is just change the normal blend to screen. Boom. So pretty much before, after, before, after. I love it. It's very easy to use. You can always play around. You can, you know, change the position. You can resize it. And we are done with this image, guys. Before, after, before, after. Uh, we did the retouching, you know, adding the overlay. So you guys, this is it pretty much. This is how I edit my photos. I pretty much, this is my workflow, my process of editing. Um, so yeah, if you learned something, please go ahead, uh, leave a like. Also comment down below if you want to see more of this. And don't forget to subscribe guys. I'll see you in the next video. Um, so yeah, stay tuned.